Well, today was our annual opportunity to recognize members of the community who've done something to help another in a time of need and put aside their, their own needs, whether it was something immediate and acute or something that was done over a long period of time. Uh, a city worker in September suffered a fatal workplace accident. Uh, it was out in the public eye and a bystander jumped into action when he saw what happened. Uh, you know, make sure the scene was safe and try, uh, tried everything he could to resuscitate uh, the gentleman. Unfortunately, unsuccessfully, um, which is a tragedy for the City of Vancouver family and was, was ostensibly hard on him as well. It's nice to counter tragic stories like Mr. Moreno with positive ones. Um, the three ladies, Alyssa, Emily and uh, Megan, jumped into action when a uh, gentleman had a cardiac event on a SkyTrain platform, collapsed and uh, they were on top of him and doing CPR so quickly that he's alive and well today because of their quick thinking and quick actions. You know, we, we knew a young man named Wilson Liu for, for about two years who was facing a terminal illness and a debilitating one called Batten's disease. Um, and in spite of that, he raised hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy toys for uh, Canuck Place and Children's Hospital because he knew that when he was in pain, toys were what made him happy and he just wanted to make other kids that were dealing with all this happy. These pe people represent the best our city has to offer and they're examples that you don't need to wear a uniform to serve your community or to stand up for your fellow residents. To each and every one of you, I want to first say thank you for your actions, but more importantly, I want to say thank you for being such a great role model for everyone here in the city. I think as first responders, sometimes we take for granted uh, what people do when they jump in to help, again, whether it's chronic or whether it's an acute incident, um, because we do it every day. But the, these aren't people who are just taking time out of their day. They're being thrust into stressful situations, into potentially hazardous ones. Uh, they're putting aside their own needs to make sure or do their best to make sure that someone has a positive outcome. If we can offer them a little bit of recognition for what they've done and maybe inspire others to do the same thing, then this is all worth it.